quick video on this uh, notation z sub alpha. So the notation z sub, it's in the lower portion, alpha, basically means the area under the normal curve to the right of that z value. And the area is the alpha. So the symbol z sub alpha is used to denote the z score having the area alpha to its right under the standard normal curve. We read z sub alpha as z sub alpha, or more simply as z sub alpha. Here's an example, z sub 0 0.06. There's a few ways of doing it. You can find the table and find the area of 0 0.06 to the right. Keep in mind that the area found on this table is the area to the left. That's what this is. See, the z and the area to the left. So what normally you have to do is find 1 minus 0 0.06. So 1 minus 0 0.06 is 0.94. So I'm looking for 0.94 area. And so that would make 0 0.06 area to the right. Here's 0.94. Look for as close as I can get to it. 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.9. It's right in between these two, right? There's 6 to there and 6 to there. So 1.5 five, five, right? It's in the half. So the z-score should be 1.555. They only want two decimal places, so you could just do 1.55 as your, as your option. If you click here, you should see two different answers because if we round it up, it would be 1.56 since it's right in the middle, right? So that's what the z sub alpha means, area to the right of this value. Now you could also use stack crunch. We'll use the normal calculator here. Stat calculator normal. Mean is always zero, standard deviation is one, and you want to the right, and you're going to fill in the area of 0 0.06. And it'll show you that, that's to the right. It'll show you the answer, 1.5547736. So the more accurate answer is 1.55. All right, that's it. I just want to talk a little bit about um, if you have z sub alpha divided by 2. So this is later. If you're here in this video and you see z sub alpha divided by 2, and they say alpha is, say, 0 0.20, now this means the area to the right of alpha divided by 2. Okay, so it would actually be z sub 0 0.20 divided by 2 which would be z sub 0 0.10. So in this case, it would only be looking for 10% to the right. And you could go into a stat crunch, change this number here to 0 0.10, and then you would get your answer. So this is only this is later in in um, in the stats book when you encounter a z sub alpha divided by two. Right now in our stat book, we're only doing z sub alpha. So the area to the right of the z-score.